All right, in another video, I rebuilt this planetary for this rock truck here. Um, today, what we're going to do, we're going to pull the wheel off. Uh, we had some Santa Ana winds come through, and they just filled this thing full of gravel, full of sand and stuff from out here on the on the quarry. And so we're going to pull the wheel off, you know, so we can clean all that out. But I also want to check the wheel bearings and uh, and the wheel seals, make sure that's all good. And then while I'm in there too, I'm going to remove the uh, suspension strut. Uh, that's behind there uh, to put a new uh, pin and bearing in the bottom eye on it. All right, so I got my crane out. I have my adapter that I made to uh, hook onto the wheels so I can pull the wheel off. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we have all these nuts inside here. There's about 24 of them, I think. Uh, hold the wheel onto the hub, and it will pull those off and slide the wheel out. Me, we were pulled the cover off of here and we were gonna uh, block these lines off so that we could uh, take, take the wheel apart without losing all the hydraulic oil. And I was chipping in here with a chipping gun and I poked a hole in one of the tubes. I was trying really hard not to do that too. So now we gotta pump the tank down, we have to pull that tube off and tear it. So what, while I have the tube off, or the, the tank drain, I gotta change this uh, gauge in the tank as well. It's been leaking and the tube's all clouded up in the sun so you can't see it. I'm going to change that as well while we're in there. So I've got a new one here. I, keep, I always keep one of uh, each side in the truck so I can change it whenever I'm in there. So anyways, slow this down a little bit, but in a few minutes here we'll have a tank drain and then we can pull this, uh, you know, the rest of the wheel out apart here. All right, so we got the hydraulic tank pumped down. Uh, I pumped 55 gallons out of it. The tank holds about 60. Uh, it's a huge tank on this thing. And the stupid thing is the way Cat designed this, if you lose one of your wheel seals on a brake or a hose going to the cooling system because they're hydraulically cooled uh, brakes, they work like a kind of like a, like a transmission clutch or like a steering brake on a dozer. It's the same concept. So they have oil that flows through to cool them. And if you lose, get a leak anywhere in the system, it'll drain the whole tank. So if this thing were to pop a leak over the weekend, it would drain 60 gallons out of this tank on the ground before we got back to it on Monday. So it's a really stupid design. Thank you, Caterpillar. Could have at least put some kind of backing breaker on it or something. But anyways, since we pumped it down, I'll put a gauge on here. 
Uh, the old gauge was all jacked up. Couldn't see it anymore and it was leaking. Uh, we're just waiting for this to trickle down a little bit more. It's almost done. It's just what's in the lines. And then now we can actually go ahead and remove the hub um, out of the brakes, out of the brake uh, assembly. And then uh, we'll see how the wheel bearings look and uh, see how the seals look. And after that, then we'll uh, move on from there. So anyways, what I do normally, so I can pull this uh, wheel hub apart without losing all the oil or without draining the tank, uh, here's the two cooling lines. This is the brake line. That's when you hit the brakes, that gives pressure to the piston for the brakes. These two are the cooling lines. And what I do is I just pull the clamps off. I pull you know one bolt out, loosen the other bolts. And I just stick a bar in there and kind of push the tube out of the way a little bit. I slide one of these little lollipops in there and then we tighten it all back down. I do that to both of these and then that blocks it all off. So then the oil, only oil that you lose is just what's in the brake assembly itself. So that's, that's what I normally do. So these are the brakes that I was talking about. They're just like a clutch and a transmission. Uh, there's a whole freaking slew of them in here. I forget how many. Then you've got this inner seal and that keeps your gear oil and your hydraulic cooling oil separate. But uh, we call that a lifetime seal. And then you've got a, the other end of that is inside here inside the wheel hub. And then we've got a bigger one too over here. And this keeps the hydraulic oil from leaking externally. And these things are kind of, kind of known for uh, getting wheel seal leaks. You can see it's been slowly leaking a little bit for a long time. Uh, I did this wheel and put all new seals in this thing about, I think about two years ago. So, yeah, sometimes you can just pop that out. But anyways, that just pops right out. There's a rubber behind it and it keeps tension on it uh, to, to keep it sealed. So, look at the wheel bearings. Doesn't feel too bad. See there's a bunch of steel in there. Yeah, the race is getting chewed up. Yeah, it's gonna need wheel bearings too. It's, it's got a lot of a lot of wear in the in the race there. The other bearing is on uh, the inside of this hub right here. I can pull this hub out. You can see the other wheel bearing. This outer ring is the ring I was showing you in the other video when it's rebuilding the planetary. That's that ring that I put around the planetary, so the planetary will slide into here. Yeah, the wheel bearings are shot. They were going to be going out in a couple of months anyways. They got a lot of wear on them. So, I guess it's, uh, you know, it's time to do this whole wheel. <laughs> 